Hello everybody, welcome back. The new patch that came out over the past few days, so we're going to be streaming some <laughs> decks that aren't really taking too much. We're going to be playing a Feather Zoe Vi. This has been one of my favorite decks over the past month or so, uh, and it's still performing really well. I believe it's like the top meta performer at the moment over the past few days since the patch released. It has a 57% win rate over like uh, 2,100 games, so it's pretty decent. Uh, this deck is a little bit different than the ones I've played before if you've watched any of my uh, streams slash videos. Uh, this copy ha has an extra copy of Portal Cannon and is running Celestial Trifecta as a one of, Sump Dredger, the, uh, and has one less copy of Mountain Goat. The previous list I was playing had some Percival, um, so it is slightly different and I think this one's probably probably going to be better, uh, a little bit more juice I think. And let's see how it goes. I'm super excited. I got the Tabletop Tavern board. I think this looks so, so fun. Um, all the skins are really cool. I don't really play too many of the champions that they got for this. Uh, yeah, like the Nami Tai Collar animation is so cool too. But I don't really play these too much, so I might not get into the skins for a while. But I really like the board. So let's jump into it and see how it goes. Uh, let me know what you guys have been playing this patch. Some of the other decks I really want to play soon. Um, here, here's the thing. I'm sort of close-ish to Masters, right? I'm in Diamond 2. So I'm not, it's, it's like, it's within reach. I can taste it, right? And I've never been to Masters before. I really want to hit it. And I don't want to play bad decks, right? Because I don't want to, I don't want to take all that progress. I want to play the good stuff until I get Masters. Oh, but once I hit Masters, I'm going to play all the bad stuff. <laughs> uh, what are the decks? Like, my, probably, if I could play, have, have any deck super, super good, like, that I just discover all of a sudden really good, would be Ash LeBlanc Frostlight. And that got several buffs with stuff like the Avros and Hearthguard, the Trifarian Assessor. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully I'm going to try that one out soon. I feel like Aphelios is 100% a keep in this matchup. Getting the Crescendo blockers, the Calibron damage, seems really solid. Honestly, I don't like playing into Hecarim decks. I feel like they are they can pump out so much stuff so quick that I really struggle into how to play into it. Boom Boom is pretty nice. I also want to give um Nightfall a try again. I don't think it really got changed around very much, but there was s s several units over the past few patches have been uh, reduced in uh, health, and I think that could actually be pretty nice for stuff like Unspeakable Horror, right? Like ping off a Ferris Financier, a Bright Steel Protector. Now crack shot Corsair, right? There's a lot you can do now. That will actually like help with the deck, I think. And I think it could be a lot of fun, especially with Winding Light as like an extra finisher, like a one over two of in the deck. I think it'd be really cool. I think we go Zoe into Aphelios. Because I want to shoot that Soul Shepherd. That's going to just pop out so much extra damage, right? Interesting. I don't think we care though. We can just Mystic Shot that whenever we need to. So I'd rather just Calibrum the Soul Shepherd. Whoa! Interesting. That's actually really nice. I was wondering, because I don't think this deck list plays uh, Vile Feast, right? So, like, I was wondering if maybe they'd block if they're like, oh, he picked Calibrum. Our Soul Shepherd's gonna die anyway. But I guess not. So we'll take it. Oh, I panicked for a second. I didn't check if my microphone was on. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. First fine and see Now 2 1. So awkward. Zed. Do we just shoot him again? We can shoot him on stack, but this way he can create the shadow, right? Like, we could have just gone some treasure into Mystic Shot. Deny. Ah, that could be sort of bad. Maybe not, let's risk it. They don't play pump spells, right? What would they even have as a one minute pump spell? Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Cool. We can open with some treasure. Oh, that's really tempting too, actually. But I think we'll just do this. I 
I love how they have the, the games here. Uh, if you look at the sorry, um, the deck list thing, uh, you can I think you have to drag it on your own screen. Oh, that's interesting. Sure. Game. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you move a little like scoreboard thingy, there's tellstones on the little wheel, and if you're in the bottom right of your screen, there's Mechs versus Minions, their Riot board game. Progress day looks pretty nice there. Wow, I got punished hard, didn't I? Is it even worth it to attack now? Oh gosh, I think that was like actually like a really bad punish. I'm just gonna hope that these decklists don't play Withering Whale or anything. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. I think we're just gonna have the Felios here. Alright, we can play our Crescendum to level up our Felios. Our path is fixed. Now we must walk it. I like it. All motivational. Oh, sorry if someone's barking at the door. Alright, uh, I don't think it really matters. Just gonna take Calvrim. Oh, sorry, my dad just texted me. Give me one second. Okay. Um. Just attack, right? I don't think we. Yo, that's a lot of... that's one heck of a hit, actually. Let's go. Good game. Rest now, fam. Feel the moonlight. That's a cool background. I love it. I'm enjoying it. Let's see how it goes. I've been playing a bunch of Magic too lately. The past like few weeks, I feel like because I haven't really been playing a ton of Legends of Matera off stream um and i haven't even been streaming all that much like i still watch a, a good bit of like videos and stuff and streams but i haven't like actually been playing myself like i only have uh including this game eight games in the past 24 hours so i need to get back on the groove you know uh i've been enjoying Ari Bar a lot though i'm so happy i found that deck i didn't think i was gonna try it at first i was honestly like i don't know i don't really like the bard decks they're kind of silly but the Ari Bard one is so similar to like old Ari Kennen decks like with the play patterns that it's like so fun uh, and so, I've been really enjoying this Aphelios deck, too. I'm really enjoying this list after just, like, one game. Obviously, it's a little bit little of a sample. But it felt really smooth last game. Sometimes I felt in the old list that I played, it was just, like, awkward, and you kind of just, like, had, like, a ton of Zonai Urchins and such. And... Do we care? I think we'll do this. Into Boom Baboon. Yeah, I was gonna say, he should attack because I don't think he's ever getting a better trade, right? Do we go Boom Baboon? What do we get punished by? I don't think they play House Spiders. Interesting. I'm not going to pull because I want to offer the trade. Uh, okay, if they play something, I actually just want to play Dustbringer and then be able to Pale Cascade. Let me know if the mic audio is good too. I think it should be... Should be like a good noise. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting. 
I think we can still do this though. I think we can still trade. I don't think we get punished if we Pelka get the Dustbringer now. If they just attack with Sunhawk. Hmm. Okay. What then? What then? I think we can just chump block. Really? You're offering the crash deck course there? I'm just gonna take that then, I think. We save one damage, or we take one extra damage, but we stop, you know, several damage in the future. Hopefully at least that's the, that's the idea behind that. Aphelios, off the top. Right here. Maybe? Oh, uh, nah, not great. Uh, do we get anything from pushing three damage here? Oh, I actually like splitting Slung Spinner. Really? Jin's chunky, man. 4-4? Four, four? Hard to kill him. Phelios is a perfect hit. Maybe not if he plays Jin. I don't think he'll attack if we play by. I'm gonna take the Legion Saboteur here. Because these are both backline champs, sort of, right? Like, he doesn't want to attack with Jin into our Vi. And Crack Shot Corsair won't even deal damage to our body. Uh, I think we just. Ooh, that's actually nice too. Oops, I meant to go Crescendum there. I don't know why I've been Calibrum. Oh, really? That's not good. Step into the spotlight, everyone. Really? Should I have killed Jin there? Do I lose? I hope not. That would be embarrassing. I hope I did not throw that. He's out of cards. What could they draw here? Would a decimate do it? I don't think so. I don't think there's any way for him to do this, right? Right? Oh, that's annoying. It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna have to shield vault. Oh, that's actually really funny. Let's go. We got there. That was kind of clunky. I think I misplayed that. I think I should have just killed the Jin. That would have been safer. But I don't know. We'll see. Cool. 
two good games. And that was a pretty meta deck too. I've I don't know, I feel like I'm I'm not super consistent against those anti gen decks. <gasps> another game against Jezbo! Oh my gosh, I just played against him the other day. Uh he was on the Legion Deserter deck. That's so cool. Okay, I actually I need to check where he is on the leaderboards. That's so cool. I wonder if he's Oh, this thing does not feel great. Do we ever keep get excited? <sighs> that seals awful, but I think we do, just to make sure we can kill that kindred. Let me know if you think that's the right play. I'm actually really curious what you think about that one. Okay, let's see here. Dresbo? He's ranked 117, my dude. That's so cool. Uh, yeah. Our little dudes are going to die. So... Do we rip a Felios into a Vengeance? Ah, oh, what if they have... Okay, Withering Whale and the Box both destroy us if we play Boom Boom Boom, Poro Can, Poro Can, or whatever, right? So, let's just do this. This one's fine. I don't think he will, but it'd actually be super cool if he just ripped a Vengeance here. I'd be okay with that, because, like, but it's all turned that we get a free hit or something. Yeah, interesting. See, I didn't want to, I didn't want to develop first, because anything we do kind of dies this turn. I'd rather, I don't know if I should, but I, I just decided to go with losing an Aphelios over losing, like, a Boom Boom Boom, a Chompers, and a Daring Poro or whatever, right? Oh, that's so funny. I love hitting that. Okay, this is one card in Magic Gathering called, um, Secret Rendezvous from Strixhaven. It's like a three mana. All players draw two cards, I think. And apparently it's like a big meme. Uh, because it's like, you're paying mana for your enemies to draw a card. Yeah, you and target opponent each draw three cards, which is kind of fun. Um, I don't think I want to play anything with one health here. I'm going to try to play around that. Valor? What is that doing in the main line? That's kind of cool. We have no protection for Zoe. But yeah, so um, the secret rendezvous card, you and target opponent each three cards, right? Because you're spending resources to give them cards, and so they're like, sweet, whatever, I'll, I'll take that. But it's usually, I guess, more of like a, a four-person commander game thing. Yeah, see, like, this is what I expected. I don't know how to play around this here. What do we gain from attacking here? They're burning 5 mana, we're burning 2. Well, no, they're only burning 2 mana, too. We could pull another Chompers. I'm actually okay with that. If we do this, we can go like this. And offer the trades. Interesting. I wonder what he's doing. Is he waiting for, like, Kindred or something? Oh! That's pretty nice. Oh, puppy at the door, one second. Oh, actually, Gem's kind of interesting. Come on, Olaf! Just come to support me in my efforts. Yeah, I feel like we kind of just have to rip it here. Uh, I guess we'll discard Chompers, right? They could have Sharp Sight, that would be a bit annoying. We could just shoot her again if we need to, but... Okay. We got through one turn. I think I have to block Feather Investigator. With Feather Investigator. Uh, or else we're never going to kill this Raiding Guardian. Oh, okay. I was like... I thought he was going to pull the Veteran Investigator. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> I need him to block. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, oh, gosh. That even doesn't work, though.
Okay. Here's the plan. I'm not going to put the damage on to... Oh, I guess I could do this and just pick off the... <laughs> pick up the spiderling. I just want to do that to activate Fail Cascade. Stay back. Oh, that's really bad. Do we have to let that go? Let's do this to set it up for get excited. To be honest, I don't really want to shoot this Radiant Guardian right now. I want to... <laughs> That's really bad. Valor, sure. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a long game if we're ever going to win this one. Wait, what was the point of that? Just so it doesn't trade? Oh my goodness, so what is this deck? That's so funny. That's so bad for us, my goodness. I bear a message from... Oh, oopsies. <laughs> I forgot about the scout attack. Ah, uh, that's bad. I think this one's probably a GG. <laughs> wow, did I misplay that one? Oopsies. That's okay. We'll get him next time. You know how it goes. I mean, I've already been streaming for like 25 minutes almost. I, I got a water ball at the beginning of this. I forgot to even open it. Hmm. Interesting matchup. I don't usually like to keep Fire Arts Finance here. It feels more like a value engine late in the game, right? Hey, NT! Welcome back. How are you doing? Playing some Aphelios uh, Zoe Vi today. Apparently it's like the number one performing deck with like a 57% win rate since the patch the other day. Remember, we're the ones who make I enjoyed it before. It was pretty good in the last patch too, but... It's like... the the It's funny. Um, yeah, it's like uh, the... the like, tabletop gaming. I don't know what they call it, but yeah, it's like Dungeons and Dragons. It's so cool. Um, they have a bunch of skins for, like, Nami, like and, like, Darius is, like, the game master and stuff. Oh, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm like, it's so funny, because I want to get to Masters before I start playing all the janky decks. But I'm so far away. I'm only, like, Diamond 2. But it's it looks like it's in reach. So I want to play the decks like, <laughs> that I think are good, you know? But... The, I don't know if you saw like the patch notes and stuff, but they buffed a bunch of like Freljord mid-range stuff, like uh, the Everos and Hearthguard, and Trifarian Assessor from Noxus. So like my Fro Ash Frostbite deck is looking real good right now, and I kind of want to give that a try at some point. But it apparently, is barely, barely, barely 50% winner with like the best deck lists of it. So we'll see. But I'm like trying to figure out: Do I play the Jank? Do I play the good decks? But I've been loving this deck so much anyways, I'm like... I upload my streams to YouTube afterwards, and like, half of my videos over the past few weeks are like... Uh, Zoe, Aphelios, Spy. Wow, this is looking pretty tough. Uh, probably just gonna job a Pharos Finance here, here. I don't think we get much from playing Aphelios. <laughs> okay, the fun? Or trying to shoot off some tiny dudes? 
Shushu Brush could actually be pretty good once they get a whole bunch of turrets on board, because the turrets are usually pretty weak. Uh, I want to kill the Pharos or the Forge Chief. And I'll wait Boom 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 here. I'll take the 2 damage from Pharos Finance here if they attack, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, I feel like we're, we're we're falling a little bit behind. They're just able to get so much stuff early that like they're gonna be able to refill their mana when they shock blast our Aphelios <laughs> next turn. Uh, it's gonna be tough. But oh, that's actually a pretty nice hit. We were peaceful once. The one time I'm, you're happy to like draw Lunardo Springer after turn two. <laughs> okay, so like right now I could just burn their mana because I don't think our Aphelios is living if I play him right now. Some treasure, okay, that's pretty good. And we actually still have enough mana to play Dusk Petal Dusk, Aphelios, and the gun afterwards if we need to. Azana Urchin, okay, we're at least cycling these Flame Chompers out of our hand eventually. Shock Blast, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you. Let me play Felios, please. <laughs> I didn't even start playing a Felios until the um right before like the Alawi expansion, I think, but it's pretty fun. Really? What's going on here? This is fishy. This six mana looks an awful lot like a Ford assembly line or something, or a shock blast. Like, we don't have our pale, uh, pale, pale Cassidy yet to protect our Felios. <laughs> Winding light. Okay. Oh, did I just throw? I just threw so hard. I could have played. Oh, I could have played Winding Light. I forgot we had the Dust Pedal Dust. That would probably have been actually really good. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait a turn. We're fine. We'll just, we'll just wipe off their board this turn first, you know, and then we'll, then we'll play Winding Light on our next attack. <laughs> this is really bad, by the way. I don't think that was the proper play. I probably, like, the Winding Light was probably the best play that turn. Now they get eight mana to pretty much do whatever they want. Oh, wow, okay. But no Heimerdinger, no Jace. That's feeling fine, I guess. I think we'll sacrifice a Chomper. Get some damage in. Actually, that's probably kind of silly. We can just save the Chompers for next Winding Light turn. We have another, so I'm not sure I'm too worried about it, but I'm playing loose. I need to focus. Get in the zone, you know? Oh my gosh, is that like a little rat just running across? That's so funny. Oh, I actually love playing Zoe into a Winding Light turn. Production search. Ooh. That's kind of tough. It's a lot of damage. Oh, this is tough. I don't want to use this. I guess we can just save Zoe for our Nightfall Activator next turn. So do we go... Calibrum? Probably Crescendum, because they're, they're going to open attack right now. So we're not going to get time to play Calibrum first. So we might as well just Crescendum into Calibrum. That feels like it's a lot of damage, isn't it? What if we just sacrifice this Aphelios and just play our next one? We're setting up for a Winding Light turn, right? So if we can trim down their board, 
I think that's gonna be okay. Uh, let's go. Is there any way to get a second gun here? I mean, I think so, right? If we play this first. That's funny. I don't think it's gonna do too much into this. And then we get... We'll take Severum, I think. Heal up some. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna be able to play it next turn, because we're gonna have to... Oh, actually, we could use Mushroom Cloud as our Nightfall Activator. Oh, even better! Look at that! That's so perfect. Sorry, I don't know if that was too loud on the mic. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. We have two challengers. That's gonna be really hard for them to deal with. Uh, no Ruination mana. Even a Vengeance is whatever. We could just play our next Aphelios next turn, our next Zoe, whatever we need to. Shock Blast, I guess, could be kind of annoying. Oh, Shock Blast could actually be kind of bad if they take out both of our challengers. What would, what would, hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if they're just thinking or if, like they left, but. Okay. Telstones. Huh. Are they gonna go Transmogulator? Oh, Aftershock, okay. Uh, I don't really care, I don't think. Like, they're, they're gonna kill something eventually, right? I guess we can just go like this. It's actually so funny we have this Mushroom Cloud as a Nightfall Activator if we need it. Okay, I'm accepting that our Aphelios is probably going to die next turn. Oh no, that's actually kind of silly. I like that. Uh, well. Hmm. Poro? Maybe? I think we're fine. I think we just set up our elusives for next turn in Poro and Zoe. Wait, why not why not why not challenge my Felios? I'm just gonna Oh I forgot Pale Cascade actually. Okay. So let's go here. Here. Do I play around and get excited? Probably. Okay, uh, so let's go... Oh, this is kind of silly, isn't it? Because uh, I want to get grabbed on this turn. So we do two. We'll go to seven mana. Four mana. Yeah, we have enough. I think we got there. It's gonna be hard for our opponent to kill everything next turn. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is looking pretty nice. No ruination, please? That'd be so bad. Ah! Hey, oh! No! That's a bit heartbreaking. Didn't play around the atrocity. Dang. Oh, it was off of Pharaoh's finance year too! No! <laughs> Heartbreak. Oh, that stinks. Oh, we so had them too. What could we have done differently there? Was there anything to do? I don't know. We would have had like triple get excited. <laughs> Unlucky. Have you been playing any new decks lately? I have- I'm pretty sure Thralls is kind of like roasted now, right? Because didn't Promising Future get hit pretty hard? Let's see. Filter by Champion. Lissandra. Oof. Um. <laughs> last update top was 67% win rate? Is that right? That seems awfully high and only 91 matches. That's funny though, because like the top decks have like a thousand some matches, two thousand some matches, so <laughs> only ninety matches played, but it has like an insane win rate. That's actually kind of silly. If that's if that's if I'm looking at that right. All right, let me check this one. Fifty-three percent win rate. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. What do we discard here? Pale Cascade. What is this deck? Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Mystic Shot's not bad. Ooh. She almost 100% dies if we play her here, I think. Thermo Beam. Oh, sweet. Now we can play her. We'll at least get one hit. I'm happy with that. Against these, like, PNZ decks, even, like, Bandle City has stuff like Group Shot. It's kind of hard. Pokestick is kind of hard to keep her alive. So. This is fine. Get her a card. Move on. I won't focus too hard on, like, leveling her, but that'd be pretty dope if we did. Poro Cannon. Yeah, I'm happy. Hmm, Moon Glow's pretty nice. Really? Okay, I was gonna say, why wouldn't they not shoot our Zoe? But, uh, yeah, we're gonna just play our spell shield here. And then I could play Aphelios, but I think I need blocker for next turn. I think we're just gonna get rid of the super cool star chart. Maybe it's better to get rid of Poro Cannon. I guess Poro Cannon. We'll use super cool star chart to get some more value later on. Ooh, and Celestial Trifecta, that feels good. Can we kill Jace if he comes down this turn? Probably not. I did spend a lot of mana here. Okay, we'll block one. Happy with that. Destiny Skull. Wow, these all are awful. <laughs> Uh, is there- are there any of these that are ever good? Like, I guess we'll take Destiny's Call if we find a Lining Light combo. That'd be kind of funny. Hi, Merdinger. What's Zoe at here? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. What's she at? Six out of ten already. That's not bad. We might get there with the spell shield. 
Because I don't have to worry about vengeance. This isn't a Shadow Isles list. That's actually a really nice hit, too. Ooh, Flash of Brilliance. Interesting. Oh snap! Is there anything? Up? No, there are no celestials that are burst speed, right? So we can't protect Aphelios here. We need to keep up Mystic Shot mana anyway. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I guess I could have played that one a little bit better. Eight out of ten. We're awfully close to leveling that Zoe. Oh, that's bad. Okay. So we can still. No, I don't think we can. We'll have to hit something. Oof. Block, 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 block. Yes, okay, I was looking for messenger. Something good. One more, one more, one more. We can just get excited if it comes to it. Wow. Oh no. Dude, I haven't seen many more for months. Oh, that's so bad. I guess we'll just start digging for something good. <laughs> oh boy, we might have to just celestial trifecta to get out of this one. This is looking awful. We're never going to kill this Heimerdinger unless we find um Comet. We might have to go Crescent Strike for their attack. Is that worth it ever? I guess we could use it here too. Oh, this feels so awful to go Comet to try to kill a Simerdinger. Golden Sister is such a good card, but I don't think it's ever going to get anything done here. Uh, and then, Great Beyond, Living Legends. I guess we go Living Legends. Okay, pass. Show me what you got. Okay, sure. Uh-huh, yeah, yes, sure, 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 sure. We can kill this anytime. We can kill either of them anytime, so it doesn't matter. I guess we'll we'll kill we'll try to kill the elusive just in case they have some way to protect it, I guess. Oof, this is looking tough. Two mana flash of brilliance. Oh, that's so bad! <laughs> Dang, that could have like ruined the whole plane here. I guess we can still push some damage like this. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, I was gonna say, if they didn't block, we'd actually have the burn to like, kill them. That's so funny. Okay. They're they're so happy with these blocks, though, I think, right? Because they're just gonna be able to refill their hand whenever they want. Or refill their board, I should say. And it's gonna be very difficult for us to do that. Like, spending six mana on a comet here feels awful. What just happened? What, 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 what? 
Okay. Um. I don't think we can let Heimer get that double costs spell off. The, um, like it get turrets from the double acceleration gate. Oof. Oof, this is gonna be grind if we get back into this. I don't know if there's anybody we win next turn. Maybe if we get, like, a great beyond elusive or something and then... Uh, attack and then just make have, have to burn them out on their next attack turn, but they're almost 100% gonna get something like life still here. Okay, I think we have the mystic shot this dude, and then we can just zone it. Urchin as a chump blocker gives him one less chance at a good keyword too. Oh, thank goodness! That's actually really really bad keywords for them. Do we care what we lose here? Wait, what? Why does it say we go down to one? Does this deal 13 and then seven there? Like, that seems bugged. I think we have to block because with double shock blasts and stuff available, I don't think we want to go that low. Okay, here's the payoff. If we get if we get an elusive, hmm, <laughs> that's not great. I'll be honest. Ah, okay. It's a pretty nice winding light turn, but not gonna finish the game. I don't think. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Keep it going. We have three three challenges is actually kind of funny. Oh baby, there it is. These guys are actually pretty chunky. We might be able to just deal enough burn or overwhelm damage to set up double gate excited next turn. Which I feel probably not the best play to make, I guess. Not the best way to win a game here is just like hope for four <laughs> cheap units from Celestial Trifecta or from um, Living Legends. Ooh, brutal. Okay, so we have to deal damage somehow. How do we deal the most damage? Does it matter if we do enough damage here? Like, if we go like this... And... That? Do we ever win? I don't know. I don't think we're winning this one. Let's just go for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Monster Harpoon. Off of effects deck of Donnelly. Okay. That one's looking pretty wrapped up. All right, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna head out now. Those, those are some fun games, though. Uh, lost two close ones at the end there, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've been. I'm excited to see what the new patch is like. Obviously, the top top meta hasn't changed a whole ton, but some interesting little mix-ups, right? Little changes. I want to see what comes out of it. Some new archetypes. I want to see if they're actually good now. Like Frostbite, I've been waiting to be good for so long. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed, I always upload the streams to YouTube. If you miss one. And if you're on YouTube, come say hi. We always like chatting, messing with some new decks. Uh, and I'll come chat, and I'll see you guys next time.